I'm Cheryl Norman and I'm hosting today's Spiritually Intriguing on RazzmatazzTV.com. Today I have with me Bernadette Hello. and Quantasia, Hi. better known as Quani. So Bernadette, before we get into our questions of the day, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, let's see. I'm a native of Chicago. I've uh, lived in Chicago all of my life. I'm 63. Uh, I have a son and a daughter. I have 12 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Do you work? No, I am retired happily. Thank okay. you. Okay. And Kwani, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. My name is Quantasia. Um, like she said, better known as Kwani. Um, mother of four. Originated from Illinois. Um, and that's pretty much it. Where do you live now? Indiana. Okay. Are you working? Yes, actually I'm a leasing agent for a senior citizen with the built building. Okay. Earlier we talked about um, cheating and evolution. Now we're going to impose a couple of more questions. So Bernadette, my question to you is, mm -hmm. should you listen to the opinions of people that you don't value? No. Not really, because if you don't value the person, why would you want to take their uh, opinion? Okay. Have you ever thought that maybe, even though you don't value their opinion, that sometimes they might give good information, something that's useful? Well, now, since you put it in that context, I might think about it. But as a whole, I tend not to take the opinion of people that I really don't value because I figure they can't help me anyway. All right. Mm -hmm. Kwani, question for you. Why do you think men are abandoning their families more each day? Can I say the first come to mind or do I have uh, Hey. <laughs> no. Um, I think it's, I think this started a long time ago. I don't think it's anything that they just started doing. Okay. You know, a lot of men, these young men, um, they don't tend to know what it means to even be in the family, be a part of the family. And it comes because that starts from when their fathers abandoned, abandoned them. You know, okay. it's a long chain of abandonment, even for little girls as well as, you know, young men. But more so for young men because they haven't been taught how to be a man or how to stand strong and be firm and, you know, raise a family and things of that nature. Well, do you think that um, also... Uh, young men that have had a father in their house their entire life still walk away from their families? Yeah, they do every day. They do every day. Some of them just can't deal with the, um, I guess, everything that it takes to, to be that head figure, to be that, you know, person in the household. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe it's because um, morals and values aren't being taught as much? Women are more relaxed now with themselves. No, I think that men have been given a pass for years, and okay. you know things just become have, behavior has just been become um, acceptable. Oh, he's a man, just leave it alone. Oh, he's a man. No, I think it's just a bunch of selfish crap that they need to stand up on and and, and do better. You know, mm -hmm. you don't excuse behavior that's unacceptable, and that's for men or women. Okay. So, do you think that women are failing um, as parents? with the abandoned children? Um, I think that it takes two people to raise a family mm -hmm. and to have a family. Mm -hmm. As far as the women failing, I think it's the individual mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. per case basis. Mm -hmm. They're failing because they're not putting enough into it. There's a lot of women out here who um, have raised their families. Men haven't been abandoning people for years and they raise them and they work jobs and they do just fine with four, five, six, seven kids. Mm -hmm. So if you fail, it's because you didn't try. Bernadette, yes. how do you feel about men abandoning their families now? Well, I agree with everything that Kwani stated. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really see where I can add anything else to it uh, that would make it be, you know, any more, um, gee, I don't know. But I agree with everything that she says, and there's just nothing else that I can put on top of that to give you any better... Um, Hmm. Any, any better explanation? explanation? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know the Bible says, "Raise up a child in the way that they 
should go and when they get old they will not depart from it. True. Um, I believe today that even though children are raised in the church and they're taught morals, they're taught spirituality, they still, as they get older, some parents choose to let them drop out at 16, 17 or whatever, or when they get older, they veer away from the church. Do you think that that has something to do with the fact that men are not being responsible as they should? In some cases, you might say that uh, that could be one of the things, mm -hmm. but it's like that old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yes. So you can keep your children in church, beat them over the head, Sunday school, morning worship, afternoon service, Bible study, uh, Sunday school. It's all in what they believe when they get to a certain point. You well, I know I'm the cameraman, but I'm going to jump in on this. Okay. I think, I think it comes... Well, men abandon their families based on the content of their character. Okay. I don't think it really has to do with um, where they're raised. I mean, the way they're raised could affect the content of the character, but it's more just fear and cowardice that makes a man abandon his family. Okay. Because, like, if, if you're young and all you've known is how to take care of yourself, and then suddenly you have the pressure of a family put upon you, you don't know what to do. Okay. So, it's the fear of having responsibilities like most young men do have mm -hmm. and then it's just not having the courage to stay even though you know that you might fail okay. so um, that's just a guy's point of view it's fear and cowardice to me thank you cameraman for your comment it's much appreciated oh no problem thank you for watching spiritually intriguing where we find out what's spiritually intriguing to you bye